For the first time ever, a Catholic mass was held in a small village in Togo in West Africa. It happened three weeks ago, and Father William Ryan presided. He made history as the first priest to step foot in the village. He's the founding pastor of Our Lady of Guadalupe Parish in the Archdiocese of Lomé. It includes three dozen villages. And since 2006, Father Ryan has built chapels, schools, and wells. And guess what? He is right here with us. We are so delighted to have you, Father Ryan. Thank you, Lauren. Nice to be here. Tell us what it was like to go where no priest had ever gone before. Well, we have three dozen villages uh, in our parish territory. I had always had this idea in my mind, I'd like to get there and try to do something uh, because there really weren't any Catholics there. And then we got a donation from a benefactor who wanted a well done, but he wanted it done in such a way that evangelization would be promoted. So I uh, selected this village. Uh, we sent a delegation uh, there and... There you are blessing there it. There I am, yeah. <laughs> we went there and uh, I was proud of our villagers from the mission because they went there too to lend support. They even waded across the river five kilometers away and we organized the first mass ever in that in that village. What was that like to to do that in in that area? You've got a well and you're saying mass and I was looking we were talking a little bit earlier about um, the number of Catholics in Africa growing by about 20 percent baptized Catholics. Mm -hmm. It's it's a huge growth for uh, that country and and that area. Yes, well, it's it's an exciting place to be a priest, actually. Uh, and uh, African Africa has a soul, and the soul of Africa is very open to religious uh, uh, sentiments. It's very open to the presence of God, the action of God in in their lives. And, How so? Well, uh, you know, Africans tend to be a lot poorer than we are here. They're, they recognize that they're not uh, self-sufficient, that they need the, the higher power, the one who created them, the one who, who has given them the rain and the sun and uh, on whom their crops are dependent. Uh, and so therefore, when someone comes and offers them the good news, a little more specific, that that same God has sent Jesus Christ to save them, then they're they're open to the message. So we're hoping that in addition to doing the well, that that's just the first step. Well, it says you founded um, primary and middle schools in, in other villages. Do you hope to do that here? Uh, that village is probably too small to have its own school. However, they, we, we hope to be able to go back. I told them the day of the Mass, I hope to be able to go back, pump some of the water from the well, and use it to baptize some ah, of the people. Ah, there you go. But, uh, in <laughs> Always to, proselytizing. Well, right? <laughs> the, there's, uh, in addition to baptism, of course, there's, there's catechesis. We hope to get a catechumen that started there. Uh, find a catechist who can work with us and with them. And you were here at the Archdiocese and you just felt this calling because of a friend of yours. How can our viewers learn more about your mission and maybe uh, come volunteer? We have a simple website. Unfortunately, with the slow internet connection over in Togo, it's it's uh, uh, not uh, always updated very frequently, but if you go to togomissionparish.org. Togomissionparish.org. Togo dot org. It's right there. Yeah, there right will be. There we there. go. Uh, <laughs> okay. Then uh, you can find out uh, what we need. And basically, it's three things. And I put these in the order of priority. Please. Uh, first, uh, we ask for prayers. Very powerful. Prayers are powerful for the mission. Second, uh, we ask for sacrifices. Uh, if there are any viewers out there who are sick or even bedridden, please don't waste that. Offer it for the mission, and you'll, you'll see later on in heaven what the good was that that accomplished. And third, we really need donations. Uh, if anyone can help us out, $50 will buy a tank of gas for our pickup truck. <laughs> that uh, you have to drive around to see your 25,000 folks, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh, and if uh, anyone can help us build the building to bring some of these kids from the other school to our, our middle school, college, 7th grade through 10th grade, and uh, have them be able to lodge there, then... Uh, Take a look at the website. Thank you, Shoot Father. me an email and I'll give you more information. Oh, Father, thank you so much for joining us. God bless you and all the work that you do well, in thank Africa. You. It's great to be here. We're so happy to have you. Okay. Father William Ryan.